are about to witness an epic Tyro Magnus reaction. What is happening, Magnusites? So it is the 30th anniversary. That is crazy. The 30th anniversary of Transformers the movie. Most of you know that I am 39. So that means that I was nine when that came out. It's crazy. When I get done watching this, I'm gonna give you my story of when I went to see this and my reaction and how I felt and just the whole thing of it. But let's check this out because I'm gonna get this because my 20th anniversary DVD somehow got warped like something happened to it i don't know if it was heat or what but something happened to it and it got messed up so i might as well re-up with this one let's check this out transformers the movie the 30th anniversary edition is now on dvd and for the first time on blu-ray <laughs> Best part in the whole fucking movie. 4K. Okay. This one line that fans seem to remember a lot. There was an eruption of cheers and applause. Cool. So I get to hear from them. One shall fall. Now available on Blu-ray, DVD, <laughs> and digital download. I am Unicron. Love this movie. Let me tell you about my experience of going to see this movie. Um, I didn't go to the movies much. I grew up very poor. And, uh, but my mom knew that I had to see this movie. So I remember us going to Philly to see this movie. I don't really know exactly why we were in Philly. She probably was doing some shopping or taking care of some business or something out there. And that's why she took us to Philly. But I remember walking in and I remember when I walked in, they let us in early. Like we bought our tickets, but they let us into a they let us in early, even though the movie hadn't started yet. So what happened was when I walked in, the movie was already playing. And I'll never forget when we walked in, we walked in during the Dinobots walking in on the Quintessons and fucking up the Sharktacons. That's when we walked in. And I remember walking down the aisle and trying to find seats and we found a seat. And so I started by seeing the ass end of the movie. And I can remember thinking, where's Prime? I can remember that, like thinking, where's Prime? And, uh, you know, seeing the rest of it, seeing Hot Rod become the lead open in the Matrix. And of course, I don't know what the hell's really going on. I'm just kind of happy to be in the movies to see this. And, you know, I've seen all these different new robots and I'm just like, yeah, you know, where's, where, where's Megatron? And, you know, so, the movie ends, and we sit there and wait for the next one to start. The next one starts, and you know, I'm just, I'm just stoked. I'm so happy as a kid. This was one, if not my favorite series when I was a kid, when I was that age. So it starts, and um, if you've seen the 20th anniversary, there's like some some um, you know special special features there where they they talk about it and they say listen that that scene um, with the shuttle getting taken over by Megatron and his Decepticon sets the tone for the rest of the movie and I've got to tell you that as soon as I saw the smoke come out of was it is it Blue Streak or Prowl Prowl right Prowl. Prowl. It 
was proud. Yeah, Prowl's mouth. I was devastated. I was like, oh my God, they fucking killed him. It was like he blew right through his chest. His eyes turned red. I thought he was angry at first. I thought he was going to get mad because his Decepticon's eyes are, you know, red. And I was just like, oh my God, they killed him. And then they started, you know, it, like, because I didn't think they killed Braun. I just thought they kind of took Braun out, you know what I mean? Because they hit him in the shoulder. But then after that, you know, they, they, they take down uh, Ratchet and High, Ironhide. And, you know, I'm just thinking, that, you know, they're down. They're knocked out. They're incapacitated. But when Megatron, and that is, that is still to this day, that is the most devastating scene to me as a child. One of the most devastating things I've ever seen. And to this day, I don't like watching that scene at all. I don't like watching it. I'm like, you're telling me he... Because you see the fire and the energy and the smoke. You, like, you know he blew his fucking head off and most of his torso. Like, and Ironhide was one of my favorites. And, I mean, fuck you, Hasbro. Whoever made that that decision to do that, that gory to them... That was that was so devastating to me as a kid. Like, like just thinking about it, it still fucks with me right here. And uh, I remember them talking about you know the experience of like kids were crying and all this other shit. And um, of course, then you get to Autobot City, and you still find the motherfuckers dead. You know, um, uh, the Dinobots get their asses kicked by Devastator. Um, and then Prime has to save Autobot City. And I am just so happy. I mean, I am just gleaming, gleaming with light and happiness to see Prime's shuttle come down. And, you know, I was really happy to see the Dinobots get out there. And, you know, he was like, Dinobots, destroy Devastator. <laughs> and me, Grimlock, love challenge. And I was like, yes! Finally, the tide is going to turn, and they get their asses kicked. I'm like, ah! Now, you know, Devastator always did kind of hand their asses to them, but I think they may have gotten the upper hand on them before. I'm not sure. But they always whooped the Decepticons' asses. Devastator was like their answer to them. But anyway, so Prime Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. <laughs> I was like, yes! Yes! And Prime is taking out everybody single-handedly. When he uses that inner force and energy to propel himself up, pulled the gun out, started taking everybody out, I'm like, yo, oh my God, I'm so happy. One shall stand, one shall fall. Megatron knew his ass was about to get handed to him, okay? So Megatron starts cheating. And I'm like, oh, I, I remember just like when Megatron pulled that, you know, got that fucking lightsaber ass knife and hit Prime in the side and Prime backs up and he's, you know, all hurt. I mean, I, that hit me. I was fucked up. You know what I mean? And, uh, but then you seen Prime hitting with the show Ryukin. And, you know, um, then Megatron gets him with that flip kick. Yeah, and that flip up kick. Now, that bothered me too. I didn't like how he was getting the edge, but then Prime, you know, took him by his headpiece, threw him on his face, and he won. But then, of course, Megatron, as usual, cheats. And he hit Prime like that with all them shots. He hit him once, and then he hit him two more times. So he hit him three times, and he's about to blow Prime's head off. And I mean, I was fucked up. Yeah, and Prime took him out, but then when Prime died, okay, that was, that haunted me for the rest of the movie. Literally, it haunted me for the rest of the movie. I couldn't, I couldn't, it was just this sinking feeling, just depression that came over me. And I was just watching this, watching the rest of it, you know, I saw Galdron take out Starscream and, I'm just like, yo, this movie is so... Yeah, I didn't care about Starscream really getting his, you know. 
and then Ultra Magnus. That, Ultra Magnus. That is a cool power. That is such a powerful ass name. Ultra great. And he gets taken out with a few shots from the sweeps. I'm like, are you kidding me? It just, you know, and they had cussing in it. I remember at that time, cussing. You weren't going to find that in a damn animated movie. And Spike says, uh, oh shit, what are we going to do now? When Unicron was coming for them. And um, Ultra Magnus is like, open, damn it, open. When he's trying to open the Matrix, you know. So, um, yeah, that was the thing. I remember that surprising me. And the female Autobot being RC, that was cool. And, you know. I just remember, you know, through the whole rest of the movie, I was depressed, and I can remember, I think I was in, was I in fourth grade then? I can't remember. See, women always know, like, what age kids are in certain grades, but I remember being in class, and it's still haunting me for a long time, for a long time. And, you know, I can just remember, I can see the desk and see me writing, you see, you know, it's from first person, you know, it's like uh, my eyes, I can see it and just being depressed and thinking about it. And like it really bothered me while I'm trying to do schoolwork that Prime was dead, you know, and then they finally brought him back, you know, and, um, you know, that was cool. But, uh, you know, until they did, it was still on. And then like whenever I watched the movie, like I had a buddy. Who, who, who always get movies early because his dad worked for a video store. And he, uh, you know, he, he even watching it with him, it bothered me, man. Uh, he was he was more heartless than me, so <laughs> it didn't bother him really to see Prime die. To, but I, every time I watched it, fucking killed me. But anyway, um, that is my story. If you want to let me know uh, if you were troubled when you first saw it. And for those of you that are younger... You're going to need to see, I think, the first and second season of G1 Transformers before you watch the movie. That'll catch you up. I remember I used to watch it when the 20th anniversary came out. I used to watch it a lot because I hadn't seen it in years. And uh, I haven't seen it in years now. I'm probably going to watch it a few times when I get this DVD. But at the time, I was dating uh, Sarah. And uh, she used to come over like, why do you keep watching this shit? I'm like, all right. You know, we used to introduce each other to new things. We would give each other, like, one episode. And, like, if you like the first episode, then we'll continue. So I introduced her to Transformers. And she watched the first ep the first season, second season. We watched the movie again. And she watched it. She cried when Brian died. You know what I'm saying? So that shows you how deep it was. You know, for an adult-ass woman, that shows you what it did to children back then. You know what I'm saying? So, post comments down below. Let me know what you all think. If you enjoyed my video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not, I don't motherfucking care. One million subscribers. Woo!